In this example, we're going to look at making some simple jQuery style buttons. Now I have here a HTML page inside of a web browser that has my buttons. If I go to my text editor, you can see that I have two links, a button tag, and an input tag of type submit. I've also already incorporated my CSS style sheet and my jQuery and jQuery UI JavaScript files, which I'm loading from code.jQuery.com. So the first I'm going to make is I want to make a button out of an anchor tag, a basic HTML link. However, you can see that I have both a regular link and a link that has a class attached to it. I wouldn't want to make every link a button. So I define a class, I call it button, so that way I'm only converting certain links into a jQuery style button. So here I have a jQuery selector for an anchor tag with a class of button and I'm just going to define the button class. I switch back to my web browser and reload. You can notice that my next button, this is my special button that I've styled with jQuery, is selected where my sample link is not. So this way I can define certain links and not others. Switch back to my text editor. Now I use a jQuery selector for the tag that is actually the button tag. Call the jQuery UI method button and I reload it. You'll notice that it has the exact same styling as my anchor tag. If we look at these tags by inspecting them with, you notice that my anchor tag has added several classes to it. jQuery UI uses these classes in association with the CSS style sheet that comes with jQuery UI in order to define the way it looks. It's also added a special span tag that surrounds the text inside of my anchor. In this way, it can be used to help identify and control the style of my text depending upon if I want to include icons or even hide the text. You'll notice that once again with the button tag, it has added all the classes necessary to style it and wrapped a span class around my button text. So jQuery, regardless of if it's an anchor tag, a button, or anything else as you'll see, is going to be applying different styles and tags in order to control the user interface to make the browser show what the end user is going to see. Now I'm going to put a comma inside my button selector. This way I can choose multiple selectors instead of having to write it out multiple times. So I'm going to do input and then I'm going to put square bracket type equals submit. Closing square bracket and save it. So now I'm going to find an input tag with an attribute type equal to submit. Reload and now you notice that the submit button is also styled in the same way. Now these are very simple examples and if you're using jQuery UI to simply style a button you probably aren't using it to its best ability as you cause a lot of overhead to be calculated for these simple buttons. So we'll take a look at how you can do some more advanced things in some upcoming videos. If you found this video tutorial helpful please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.